Stem and leaf displays some special cases. Let's consider this example. Here we have some data ranging in values from 245 up to 621. Quite a lot of spread. So when it comes to actually drawing your stem and leaf plot, putting the last digit into your leaf creates an incredible number of stems. And so you really don't get an idea of the distribution of the data. The way in which we handle this sort of situation is to truncate the values. By truncate we mean just chop off the last digit. So if we eliminate the last digit of each number, remember that the numbers are still hundreds. So what we're going to do here is think of instead of 245, 240. So now the remaining last digit gets put into the leaf and the first digit is put into the stem. So our 245 becomes 2, 4 in our stem and leaf plot. But remember the 2 stands for 200. So 2, 4 now stands for 240. We have the 2, 5, the 2, 8, the 3, 3, the 3, 4, 3, 4 again, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 8. Then we go to 4, 5, 4, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6 again, 5, 8, and 6, 2. We've produced something that shows the shape of the distribution well. We really need to also include a legend that says what these numbers represent. So we could also put into this that the leaf digit is in tens. In other words, that 4 in the first entry represents 40. Or sometimes it's written as this, that 2 slash 4, 2 in the stem, 4 in the leaf, represents the number 240. We have one final situation to look at. In this particular example, we only have three possible stems, the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. But what we can do is split the stems. If we split each stem into two, the first entry will have leaves 0 up to 4, and the second will have leaves 5 up to 9. So for example, if you look at my outline here, I've put two stems for the 20s, two for the 30s, and two for the 40s. So the first stem in the 20s will represent numbers from 20 up to 24, and the second stem in the 20s will represent numbers from 25 up to 29. So if we start putting numbers into this, 22, 22, 23, 24, 25 now goes into the next stem, 25, 26, 26, 27. So I've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 entries in my stem and leaf plot. Notice that I'm lining up the columns in the leaves because this is going to give us a true indication of the distribution. So we go to the 30s. 30, 30, 32, 33, 33, 34, 34, then we go to 37, 38, and so on. Make sure that you've got everything included. It's probably a better idea to cross them off as you do them. So if we go 41, 42, 45 now goes down to the next one. 46, 47, 47, and 48. Sometimes it does become difficult to line them up and it's not a bad idea to actually rule lines down for columns to make sure that they line up well. Again here you can then rearrange the numbers into the right order. In this particular case we've got them in order anyway so that you can then work out the median and the quartiles, the interquartile range, and the five number summary quite easily.